everybody, it's me, Mel G, with my millennial peace sign. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic say Monday. Oh my god, I almost said Wednesday. I am, I am ready for the midweek vibes, and we are not there. I have had a little bit of a long day. You know when you're sick? We all know I was sick because I became the biggest baby about it. When you're sick and you just mind foggy and you're just not 100% there for like a hot minute. That's me. That's me. That's been me for like an entire week. Today we're going to be playing some Stardew Valley. It has been a hot minute. But you know, it's my comfort game. It has been gloomy. Rubbish weather. And I'm here for it. Hello, Doom. Hello. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You told me your name and I cannot remember. It was Nick. Nick? Nick. Um, hello, Doom. Hello, Chirpy. Hello, everybody else. I am excited just to give cozy vibes. I will say I have to stream with my door closed because we're doing laundry and, you know, she loud. It is so warm in this room. I do not know what's going on. I might pass out of heat stroke but maybe that's also just dehydration because I wasn't so good about drinking the water it's Nick yes did I say I said that. I think I said that oh god oh god um can someone tell me what Stardew Valley starts with it starts with an S again when you're recovering sickness and your brain is just like literal mush I have become pudding brain pudding brain queen but otherwise it's going to be a good day. Um, cozy vibes. I'm here for the Stardew vibes. It hasn't snowed in a little bit, but it is cold and windy and kind of icky out here. So I'm here for the cozy, the warm. I brought my favorite blanket. Well, not my favorite. One of my blankets back from my office so I can use it in my home office because I've been working from home a lot more. Clearly, I don't need it with the warm, but we come prepared. We come prepared wearing something different I am wearing a dress because um so this is actually just literally a long piece of green fabric I'm into it I'm into it it is green too it is green we're not wearing black we did it we did it team we did it um yeah I wore this to work today I picked my husband up from his work and then was like oh ha huh. um I did my hair, I did my makeup, I didn't want to try and get a turtleneck over this ordeal without smudging everything and probably honestly losing an entire eyelash. If you didn't know, these aren't real. They just like glue on every morning and it's kind of a vibe. It's really easy actually once you get used to it, at least for me. Maybe I shouldn't say any. We're loading in, feeling good, feeling meditative. Oh, chirpy! Thank you, thank you for the 22 months. Mel Dance, um, Mel Dance. Mel Dance. Mel, Melg, I think it does say Melg. Melg Dance. Call me Melg. Um, it looks really good. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's also a little Christmassy because it's like dark evergreen. I have no idea what we were doing in Stardew. It is where I can tell already from the bop and from this singular flower that's vibing right here. It's gonna be in clear and sunny tomorrow. We are vibing somewhat perturbed. You know what? They can have their off days. We all have them. Get it? Living off the land. Let's talk corn. It grows in two seasons. Okay, sick. Sick drip, bro. Sick drip. I am, I am into this dress. It's like full length as well. So, you know, it's not super horrible against the weather. It did get me out of doing work at work today too because it's full length and there's a little bit of skin showing in my ankle and you can't go into the unit that I work in without full length pants. So my boss was like, you want to do this? And I was like, hey, I can't. And he was like, fine. Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. Thank you, Pure. Okay, we'll grab my watering can. Can I assume this is because I need to donate it? Um, river? Riverfish? Nope. 
lake fish? It is because I need to donate it. Okay. Give me the watering can. We go to town. We go... Shloop. Also, the moment y'all have been waiting for... Uh, I did build a new computer. We have tested it out. It does function. I can play cities on it, though only... Cities 2, let me specify. Um, though only on the lowest settings because spicy! But... I don't have a, a good keyboard for it. So we're going to wait on that one. Um, I personally am in no rush. I'm happy with the docket that I've been playing, although it's been kind of the same three games. I'm here for it. I'm enjoying it. But in addition to that, I don't want to get rid of my Stardew save. And I don't really know how the Steam Cloud works. Or the, yeah, the Steam Cloud. I don't know how that works. Maybe because I'm kind of like a technological potato. I don't know a lot about tech. Which is like really bad when you're in a field dominated by like tech. Both this but also like science. <laughs> How do you do innovation when you can't like open your email in Firefox? I don't know. I don't know. That's not actually a real... I'm pretty sure I could probably open my email. Though we've never tried so I can't confirm. Look at those cute little clouds. They're schmoovin'. Ooh, stream died. Oh, oof. I did see it die on my end, too, a little bit. Though I don't know what the dealio is here. Is it my fault? We are on Ethernet, so I don't know. Uh, doesn't mean the Internet's not absolute trash. Because it probably is. It wouldn't be a surprise. But maybe a tree fell on like a power line somewhere. Ooh, you need one like that too? See, we got it. We got it. We're on the same page. Okay. I will say, rip my wallet. We've been eating so much like fast food lately. I am like kind of here for it though. I, okay. Literally, it was like two days after making fun of DoorDash. I have become like a DoorDash stan, I think. I kind of I kind of get the trend of it. Because, man, it is nice to get like restaurant food from like, you know, not like the nicest. Well, sometimes there's like actually really nice restaurants on there. But get like restaurant quality food. But also get it delivered and not have to be in public. Anybody else have like, they don't love hanging out in a public space. I mean, I do. I like going out. It's just so expensive nowadays, which is fine. But it just means we don't go out as much. We get takeout a lot more. I'm also, I'm like all about the sitting on your couch and eating takeout with a bottle of wine you got for like $8 from the liquor store. Also, okay. This is like a really dumb question. But sometimes dumb questions are important. This one is not. This one is not. Marnie loves pink cake. Update. But. Do all places have liquor stores? Because, like, I feel like the states don't have, like, liquor stores. They just have 7-Eleven that has, like, booze in it. And so, I feel like because in Canada, like, there's special rules on, like, alcohol sales. They can only be sold in certain environments. In fact, like, bars. Any establishment labeled a bar used to not let kids in until like pretty much the pandemic like you just couldn't bring kids into a bar full stop which is like wild um but also it's so strict on liquor laws that yeah like liquor can only be sold in stores that are designated liquor stores and they cannot sell anything other than liquor and liquor paraphernalia it's like super weird which is also hilarious because we have the same thing but for cannabis like we have literal dispensaries on every corner. There's probably more dispensaries now than there are liquor stores. But I don't know. Now my I'm just mind flooded. I'm like, okay, so do liquor stores exist like everywhere? Cause like, I'm trying to think we went to England, which I feel like, cause we didn't drink booze in Iceland. I don't think it was too expensive. Oh, good golly. Um, but when we went to England, we got like wine at like, again, like a car store or like, it was like a pharmacy or something. So now I'm like, is Canada just like freaking whack? Are we like broken in the north? 
but in the best way. Let's just wear the same dress. Honestly, Kay, I got this, I don't know. I got this dress for like $40 Canadian. It was on sale. Maybe it was like $60. Clothes are, everything here is expensive, but $60, pretty cheap for like good clothing. And I have been like living in it. I think I got it in like August. It is my go-to because like, okay, hear me out. Dresses might be like, especially a sweater dress, like a baggy sweater dress. They're like my favorite apparel because you don't have to wear pants. And look, this might be a little TMI, but like we all get it. We've all been there. I, you know, it's just the body. I got a lot of dietary restrictions. I don't listen to my dietary restrictions. I eat things that I'm not supposed to. I bloat really bad. So things like pants and the whole standing pants situation. She a real problem in my life. Um, so sitting pants even aren't really a thing for me. I like tight clothes, so therefore I can't, I just can't. I cannot go out wearing pants if I intend to sit. Sweater dresses, they look classy, they look nice. You can, you know, business casual, you can dress them down and go out in them. You can have some fun. You don't have to wear pants. You're just pantsless. You're just rocking it. Maybe not commando, that's to each their own. You could do commando if you really want it. Might get a little drafty, but no pants, no belt. I'm here for it. I'm 100% here for it. The regular store where you buy food and stuff? No, like we don't have, like our stores, our grocery stores and stuff do not sell booze, like at all. You cannot get booze in a grocery store here. It's actually like wild. So like a corner store, a convenience store, a bodega grocery store nah they do not have booze you have to go to a liquor specific store just like you have to go to a cannabis specific store to get cannabis though like nicotine you can buy literally anywhere including grocery stores and gas stations it's like wild i think like i don't know why it's gotta be like a prohibition thing like back in the prohibition era canada was just like we're cracking down on this though i don't think that's true because i feel like in the early 2000s when i was a kid i do recall co-op like a generic grocery store chain here having liquor having wine so now i'm confused when this is like implemented as a drop as a law i'm starting to feel exhausted oh god oh god That's wild. That is wild that you can just like, cause I've like Malay. Cause I've never here, like it just, it, I don't know. It blows my mind. And I feel like the first time we went to like Montana, which is the closest American state to where I live. Hello, can I talk to children? I need to talk to children in the least weird way possible. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, did I talk to both of them? Did I talk to you? I did, okay. But the first time we went, we stopped at a gas station. It had like a 7-Eleven generic convenience store attached. And there was just like six packs of booze and we were like, oh, I guess like we could also just like drink tonight, why not? And we just got booze. I can actually recall exactly what we got. We got Belgian Moon, but it's like, it's called something different in the States, it's called like Blue Moon. It's just like an orange flavored beer. Found some wild fruits this morning. Can I give you? some wild fruits will you like this she does Doo -doo. hi pierre apparently we're besties how much is this backpack never mind anyone up here that i can talk to Doo -doo -doo. nope literally no one yeah you just walk in and get beer and vodka you can also just get like a taquito it's fine casual you just gotta be 18 plus. Okay, I will say, so Canada is a little bit better than the States in this context. Thank you for the hydrate. Um, Canada's, I think, national drinking age is 19, 
But the province I live in, the drinking age is actually 18, which is great. But yeah, it's like once you're 18, you can just drink here, which is really funny because, hold on. Where I used to work and where I used to live was a city a lot closer to the American border where the drinking age is 21. And people would literally, do I need to donate any of this? Please tell me not a tilapia. Oh, I thought I sold him. Okay, hold on. Okay. Son of a gun! Okay, it's fine. We're going to donate our tilapia. But the, where it was was like close to the American border. So people would come up from the States all the time where to drink in Canada when they can't drink in the States, which is like kind of funny. Or you could just like wait i guess <laughs> just a moderate amount of sunlight bro you wearing sunscreen you wearing sunscreen can i have your number can i have it doo, 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 doo. oh yeah i had beer in germany at 16 it was phenomenal bro stop right just kidding the first time i ever traveled internationally this just made me think of it i was literally literally wow i shouldn't say it like that um it was literally in 2018 so i must have been like 22. wow i had to do math on the fly i cannot believe i was able to get that out of my i pull that number out of my butt yeah i was like old ish it was like the first time i'd ever been on a plane anything it was like super and bro we tra we traveled to like england so not only was it like the first time being on a plane, bro, we, we cra crashed. We did not crash. We crossed the pond. It was a long trip. It was like 11 hours of traveling. Just casual. What sort of gadget should I build? It is a long trip to do for your first like traveling experience, but it's fine. It worked out. For me, thanks! I'm gonna get such a nice tan this summer. Do, 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 do. Chirpy, where'd you go in Germany? Hello! Gentle Sunbeam woke me up this morning. I've never felt so refreshed. I don't know why I gave him that, like, weird Hisaka from Hunter Hunter energy casual i like started to say gold as like a way to describe things i think it stems from like the millennial term golden like oh that's so golden um but i've been like oh that's gold every time like i say something to people and i'm like oh yeah i'm agreeing with you that's like cool impressive but I don't know why I've been saying it. I don't know if like my husband says it or I have a friend that says it. But what I've noticed is one of my colleagues has started saying it. And I'm like, bro, am I a trendsetter? Am I like, am I starting the new like slang movement as like a 30 year old woman? Probably not. But in my head, I'm like, ooh, I could be. But I could be. But I literally could be. Making my way to the wizard's house. Hello! Ah yes, I've seen many things about your future, young Malay. Do, 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 do. do. Miss the music. thriving we're thriving living it up we're feeling good today though you had your first snow for the year oh my gosh that's actually very exciting we consistently where i live we always get it right before halloween if we haven't had like a big snowfall in like late september which was no different this year we have been having an in like incredibly mild winter i'm not really here for it though because when we have mild winters here, it usually means that like 
January, February, March is going to be minus 40 degrees. Like, for three months. And look. I know I live in a place that hurts my face, where the air hurts my face. I know I'm choosing to live in a place where the air hurts my face. But this is like, this is a little ridiculous. Can I just say it? Come on. Like, it's a little rude. Okay, I should keep this mushroom. It's just a touch rude. A smidgen, if you will. Oh, I should keep these. Uh! Oh, well. Do, do, do. Oh, you went to Berlin and Munich. Okay, okay. It doesn't snow. I guess that makes sense, too. We're, like, pretty far north, but we're also very far away from an ocean. So because it's so dry and we're such high elevation, we snow actually a lot. But we get, like, frequent weather changes where it'll be, like, minus 20, minus 30 degrees for a week. And then it'll be, like, plus 10 degrees Celsius for a week. So we get very big weather swings. So it's kind of like it all freezes and snows and then it all melts and it's all nice again, which is like annoying because driving, you're like, oh my gosh, winter conditions then combined with not just winter conditions, but then sloppy, slushy spring conditions. And then that melt or freezes as a layer of water across everything. And you get black ice and winter conditions again. And it's just kind of this ebb and flow consistently throughout the winter. They are incredibly displeased today. We are not vibing. They are not my friends. Pop those in there. Give me my watering can. And we just go. We go, queen. We go. These melons. Little pink boys. Oh, pink peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. Aw. Oh. The shame you bring to my family. Summers get 40 degrees, oh my good golly. We experienced 40 degrees recently. We went to Phoenix, Arizona. Bro, it was in the fall, I just wanna say. It was like 10 degrees Celsius where we live when we left. And it was like 40 degrees in Arizona. And I was like, this is not okay. Physically, though I was vibing. Cause I do, I'm a sun bum. My incredibly fair translucent white vampire complexion would have you probably think I hate the sun but I do I love the sun with all my heart could bask in it any day of the week nice and relaxing you're gonna yep I kind of do like the snow the only thing I don't like about winter is when it's so incredibly cold that it just, you step outside and it's like, it burns, like it burns. I was actually telling my colleague about a memory I have when I was in like grad school where it was about a 10 minute walk from my car to my office. And I was walking with the wind. Like this is just how cold it was. But I was wearing like ripped skinny jeans because them's the breaks, that was the trend back then. And <laughs> when I got to my office, I had wind burn all over the front of my legs where the um where the holes were in my pants it was so cold that i got like really bad wind burn ice burn all over the fronts of my thighs it was a little cringe just wrap your scarf a scarf around your face bro okay i'm gonna find it i'm gonna find this photo at some point and i'm gonna post it in the discord because this needs to be out there there is a picture of me, I snapchatted to one of my friends after the same 10 minute walk, but into the wind, in the cold weather, where it was so cold, my eyes were watering, but the tears were freezing on my face. One of my eyelashes got ripped off by the wind and is half on my face. And my hair was like, it, gotten, it had gotten frozen through like the hat I was wearing. It was like, an actual atrocity, like a true criminal offense. The weather committed an absolute war crime against humanity. Against me, I am humanity. I am baby, I am humanity. It was the worst thing. 
And then I just sat in my car and pretty much cried about why do I live in a place where the air hurts my face? And then I think of free healthcare and I'm like, no, that makes sense. I understand. I understand why I live in a place where the air hurts my face. Doesn't make it any less like crappy though, when the weather is like that. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Why do I keep getting silver crappies? I guess it's better than these ones. Do I have to donate a chanterelle still? Do I not donate a chanterelle at all? Never mind. Am I like, am I mentally okay? Like, no. I'm a little mentally unstable. Oh, I was like, didn't I name my stream that? And then I was like, oh, I did. Lol. Okay, I need to also get on top of like organizing my chesties, my chesticles. Do, do, do. Okay, well, I don't really want to go to the mines if they are extremely perturbed today. So I think we go up to the lake and we do some fishing or we go to the beach and we do some fishing. What a fish am I missing? Red snapper. Those guys I can't get yet. Tiger trout. That's a river. Okay. Walleye can't get till fall. And I think I can't get him till winter. You guys ever seen a sturgeon in real life? They are like prehistoric freaks. Absolute little freaks. Actually, they're not that little. They're just freaks. Full grown, full size monstrosities to evolution. They're ugly. Like, they're scarily ugly. And they get large. Like, concerningly large. Like, I think the largest one ever reported was like 30 feet long or something. And this isn't like, in the past. This is like, recent. I need a red mushroom too? Mel, what are you doing? Okay. You could wear a balaclava. True, true, truing. Um, maybe some ski goggles. Just repping the ski goggles casually as well. Like six meters long. Yeah. In the like, wild. Like I'm like 165 centimeters tall. Like six meters? 600 centimeters? That's like four times my height. Like what in the actual F? It's huge. Gross. Gross. Ugly. Also, I have that thing where I don't like swimming in water where you can't see the bottom because I'm like, I, you know, you don't know what's underneath you and it's gross. And then you find out that I like was born in a place with a lake that has sturgeons in it and other freaks of nature. And you're like, yeah, it makes sense. I do not think I could survive anywhere that has scary bugs. Now, I know people's response is always like, oh, but like the things in Canada are really scary. And it's true. I've seen a wolverine in the wild. I've seen grizzly bears. I've seen tons of black bears in the wild. That stuff's scary. I've only seen a cougar like one time. And that's like, oh, sugar. I was not paying attention. Um, yeah, they're scary. But you give them your space, you walk away. Also, I saw a moose. This would have been like a year ago now. But there was like a moose and her baby just like living in our neighborhood. But the thing that was wild about it is there was a video of this moose just running down the road while somebody was shoveling. And it almost like the moose literally straight up just almost ran over this person. Now, when you realize that moose are like two and a half meters tall, you're like, oh, they are also horrifyingly scary. But once again, you very rarely see these animals. You never see them when you're not in a car. Like it's, the only time I've seen a bear where I wasn't in the car, now this is scary, was camping. And I was like by myself, cause I got the nice pics or it didn't happen response from all my camping friends. But, oh, that got me, the sound of the door. Man, I just like, I cannot, 
I can't do the little creepy things. The only thing in Canada that truly scares me, no, this isn't true. I lived in a place that had freaking rattlesnakes, dude. Um, one of the only things that scare me is like ticks. I hate, I hate ticks. They gross me out. I've never seen one in the wild, but I've seen them in labs many a times. We had a parasitology lab that my friends worked in, but I don't want that. I don't want that. If you put me in a place that has like real spiders, like we have spiders, but they're like teeny tiny. You get like ones the size of a loony at most. And those ones are like really hairy and like not harmful. They're kind of like little tarantulas. Wolf spiders. But, nah. It's seeing scorpions in like the pet store makes me want to die. Seeing a tarantula in the pet store makes me want to die. Seeing a cricket or a cockroach in the pet store makes me want to die. Also, I might be super traumatized because, like, as one of the courses I had to teach in post-secondary, we had to dissect, like, crickets that were, like, three inches long. And that stuff is disgusting! Also, like, I didn't even want to do it. Like, I almost, like, bombed. It was so gross. They, like, crack! You're, like, trying to get in there to, like, look at them, and they're cracking, and they're like, eh, eh, no, eh, I hate it. Um, but then, because I'm the teacher, I gotta, like, maintain a stoic, strong demeanor and not be grossed out, because all these wimpy 18-year-old girls are grossed out as equally as I am. Fair enough. But I can't be the one that's like, this is horrible, I hate it. Because I'm the teacher. You have wild boars? Fair. That stuff would actually scare me. But again, it probably falls in the same category of leave that crap alone and it doesn't F around with you. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. They're the only thing like kind of dangerous. Don't you have bears in Europe? Like you don't have like grizzly bears, but you still got to have like some kind of like black bear or something. Also, I would never want to be impaled by deer. I think deer are suspiciously dangerous. People think they're harmless little, like, things. I'm like, nah, bro, you know why they have antlers? Just to impale things. I'm not here for that. I don't want to get impaled. I like my skin. I'm also just kind of like a weenie. I'm kind of like wimpy. Diary of a wimpy kid, that's me. And also, maybe the reason I'm not afraid of bears is because I don't hike. Like, I literally just don't hike. Because again, we know what happens when I hike. I cry. I cried so much. I didn't even catch the fish I wanted. I didn't even, I didn't even catch the fish. I didn't even catch the fish. Ugh. I cry a lot. No, I don't. Although I was talking about this with my colleague today at work. I don't actually cry that much just when I was hiking. Um, and I know it's like kind of true because I was like, when's the last time I cried at a movie? And I only know this because I actually cried at a movie quite recently. The movie's called The Whale. It's really good. It is really sad though and a little emotional. It's based off of a, like a Broadway play, um, which is really interesting. And it was done really well. The acting was really good. I really enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Clearly, I cried. Um, but I was trying to think of, like, the movie before that that I cried at. I'm like, uh, years. Years and years and years. It might have been, like, Eternal so Spotlight of this. Oh, my God. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which is, like, my favorite movie. Crying at it circa, like, 2002. No, probably not. That movie came out in 2004, anyway. Hello! Oh, Hello! My dad and I were just testing some soil samples. And don't be shy, we could actually use a hand. Why am I getting so close? Could you watch this beaker? I'll be right back. I don't see no beaker. I don't see no beaker. <laughs> Cried by the show Medal of Honor. Okay, okay. Okay, I can see it. Thanks for helping out, Melly. 
Maru's a good kid. She's my special little girl. I wouldn't want anything getting in the way of her bright future. You know what I mean? He's telling me to get the F off. Get the F away from her. Just some food for thought. Ha 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 ha. Music change? Hey, sorry about that. I hope you found something to talk about. No, he's just grilling me. Just telling Mel about the soil samples. I'm not going to say he's being weird. That's rude. Titrations. I've done titrations. Okay, here, Melly. Let me show you how to use the equipment. There ain't no beaker here. What do you mean, use the equipment? This looks like ice cream. Hello? Hello? Do -do. What are my friendships looking like? Oh, God. Pierre is my best friend. Okay, Wizard, Clint, Harvey, and George. I got to be like... We gotta be shooting the crap. Because we are not friends. Hi, Abigail. The air is so thick with honey and nectar all summer. I wouldn't know. If you need any buildings on your farm upgraded, just ask. Scrape, scrape. Anyone in here? Just Pierre? Hello! Sometimes I get new items. Okay, cool, thanks. TY, TY, bye bye. Okay, doll guys, y'all see it? I need to talk to Marnie. We need to become friends with Mar. I thought she comes here on like weeknights. I gotta be friends with Marnie so I can get the purple shorts. Please relax. Hello! I feel like I never talked to Emily. Who was it? It was George. Harvey, Wizard, and Clint. Ugh, I don't want to be friends with Clint. He's the worst. Okay, go talk to George unless their house is closed. Hello? Hello? If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I'd be bald in a second. Another gloomy day. George is all a little stressed and grumpy in the summer. Honestly, who isn't? I'm just like a little stressed and grumpy all the time. That is my resting state, is stressed and grumpy. Don't get on him. He's just living his best life, okay? Okay. Hello, Leia. I've already talked to you. What a waste of my time. Wasting my time. How's your new computer running? It, it, it's good. Um, I don't know anything about it. In fact, my husband built it for me and I just sat there while I changed the cover of my water cooler to be the one I wanted of the three that they gave me. Yeah, I know. Sick. Sick. Um, it runs really well, actually. Got a lot of the parts on, like, discounts and sales over the last, like, month or so, which is, like, pretty cool. Be able to save a little bit of money. I am actually streaming off of my old computer still because I haven't gotten my OBS or anything set up and I... You know, I only got home like 20 minutes before I had to stream and I was like, I am not dealing with that today. Which I think is fair enough. And again, I'll lose my Stardew save, which I'm like, bro, we just started. We just started. So at least like, let me like enjoy this save file for a bit and then we'll, we'll get on it a little after. Shh, don't, oh, fish. Yo, oh, it's like the pike sold for a lot. I guess they kind of did. Everything sold for a little bit. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. I'm very meme -y today. I feel very meme. -y. A little may may. Um, it's a rerun, but we may as well watch it. Omelet. I already know how to cook an omelet. They are very happy. Thank goodness. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect for the luau. Okay, we gotta bring something that is a gold star for the luau. This is what this is gonna say. De Dear Melly, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for our annual Pelican Town luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your absolute best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Mayor Lewis. Okay, give me my watering can. Do -do -do. 
I'm telling you, the summer bop, it gets me. It gets me going in like the non-weird way. It just like, it vibes with my soul. It vibes with my spirit. I think all the Stardew Valley music does. Cause like if I'm listening to a generic like video game playlist on Spotify or YouTube and a Stardew song comes on, I'm like, mm, 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 get it, get it. I'm like the cat meme. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I also feel like, okay, the music that holds the biggest spot in my heart is the Stardew music. It's freaking Wednesday! Grr, grr, why'd you have to finish on a Wednesday? Um, Stardew music and the Poly Bridge music. Even though I've never played, that's not true, I did play like one hour of Poly Bridge once. Um, the Poly Bridge music gets me, not Poly Bridge 3, it wasn't as good, but Poly Bridge 1, 2, the music, it slaps, it bops. I think it's also a Canadian composer, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, represent, represent our population that is only like 36 million people, represent, there aren't a lot of us. We are very spread out, but we do some great stuff. Maybe I'm biased, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Also, being Canadian, is it like blasphemous that I don't watch or keep up on hockey? I feel like that's the first thing people assume. They're like, well, you're Canadian. You must know everything about hockey, have played hockey for numerous years. Bro, I can't even skate. I have a pair of figure skates. They probably need to be sharpened. I was going to say, I don't know the last time they used them. Probably when I was like 12, going skating with like my dad. But it's fine. We all got our own thing. Mine was staying inside and not being cold and playing video games. Seems like a pretty cool thing. I don't know, I'm into it. Also, could you have given me one more sunflower seed? That would have been really nice, thanks. Um, I guess I shouldn't put those in there. Do we play the game of the mixed seeds? I think so, I think that's fine. Do, do, do. Unless I have some seeds in storage. Beep. What is this? A wooden club. You just gotta hover over it, it tells you what it is. Spring seeds, spring, fall. We need two more rare seeds. Okay, okay. Keep that in mind. Pop that in there, pop those in there. I'll sell the three silvers. I do need to donate a sunflower, I, I believe. So, something important to keep in mind. Maybe on Wednesday I'll be streaming on the new one. Okay, so, great thing you actually brought that up. The boutique I work at part-time, love it there um that wasn't sarcasm i actually really do love it there <laughs> but we had like um our only full-time step down to part-time so i will be picking up a few more shifts which includes i work wednesday this week instead of thursday which is brutal so i won't be streaming on thir on wednesday thursday should be the next time i'm live bless up also why do i have radishes in here they should be in here get in there and then you give me one of you and then dump this bad boy in here and then go donate i have to donate a sunflower i'm not making this up right bulletin board die yes bless up we were gonna go to the mines but i kind of just want to fish hydrate give me this oh, fine do, do, do. Mm. I'm also very excited for my new computer because like I'm like a desktop or a I've always been a laptop queen like I don't know I have like a gaming laptop I've always had like a gaming laptop and then like a macbook that I use for like work and school and so this is like my first time actually having like a desktop which was really cool being able to like plan out like what I need for parts instead of just being like eh, I think all these you know I think this computer will be sufficient enough be good enough but I am like jazzed to have a computer that should realistically cover all my needs oh I didn't get my mushrooms it's fine um I want to go fish at the beach I think even though there's no music oh you're gonna make me walk all the way over here <laughs> Mm 
I'm still a little sniffly from be all right you're close to that from being sick but i think it's more to do with also allergies hey farm girl i got a question for you do you think i'll ever turn pro uh sure that's what i'm talking about yas queen oh alex is your grandson yep oh my it looks wonderful yeah you deserve it queen you deserve it I love Evelyn. The Moonlight Jellies will be here soon. It's one of my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite rings. Yo, it's not out of season to sing that song. It's Christmas. It's time. The amount of times I've done that and I can only assume my husband is like, Mel, just shut up. Just shut up! You're not Mariah Carey. Shut up! But it's fine. He knew what he was getting into. Probably. I can only assume. I hope, at least. What a surprise if he didn't. Oh god. I am like, I do love Christmas music though. Now, I'm the person that can listen to it November 1st to, like, early January. But you give me the December to, like, the December 1st to, like, December 27th. I'm there. I'm there for it. Maybe after December 27th, I'm like, it's New Year's time. Like, we don't need that anymore. But I'm here for it. I enjoy. In fact, like, I know I enjoy because we were... When I was at work, we were getting coffee. And the little coffee shop at the hospital was playing, like, Christmas music. And I was like, yeah, I'm here for it. I was, I was tapping along, nodding along. I was like, oh, I'm here for it. I really like the uh, Kelly Clarkson. Maybe it's Canadian. I don't know. Um, the Kelly Clarkson Christmas album. That's kind of my, like... Ooh, this is fun kind of Christmas album. Don't know why. Don't know why that's my choice, but it is. Hello, bro, you spicy. We got it. Oh, frick. I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. There we go. Puffer fish. Do I need to donate one of them still, or did I donate one? Specialty. I donated one. I think I even bought that one. I don't even think I fished it. I think I bought it. Oops. Totally fine, though. Thank you. A lot of swede today. It's a big seaweed, swede day. Are you guys like a seaweed eater? Like, do you... That sounds stupid. But, like, do you enjoy eating seaweed? I feel like when I was a kid, I was like, yeah, salty. Love it. And then, like, as a teenager, I was like, eh, I don't really like this. And then as an adult, I'm back on the, mm, yeah, salty. I'm in. I'm like a... You know, like how people are like, I'm a salty snacker or I'm a sweet snacker. Bro, I'm just a snacker. Like, right now we have cookies and... Oh my god. This puffer fish is giving me a challenge. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. But I'm like, yeah, like I have candy in the house. I have cookies in the house. We just had a pie not too long ago. I, got, I just bought chips and dip. I'm like, I'm just straight up a snacker. I got pea pods that I've been snacking on, cucumbers I've been snacking on. I've been snacking. I am the snack master. The snackster. I don't discriminate against snacks. It is actually a wonder that I am as like petite as I am because I truly just snack 247. But it's fine. I like it. I'm here for it. 
Okay. We should go visit the wizard. We should try to talk to Marnie at the bar. Clint will also maybe be at the bar, so that's also good. And then Harvey. It's so hard to track Harvey down. I guess I can just start going to the clinic. Though the clinic closes at 4, so I won't be going there today. Can I get, like, a red snapper, please? That would be a little bit of a blessing, please. T-Y, T-Y. Really want to fill up my, uh community center. Nope. That's a red mullet, not a red snapper. But thank you. Thank you for trying. You got half the name right. They got the color. Ooh, we are treasure chesting out today. My favorite. The little loot boxes. Mm. Count me in. I'm here for it. Weep. Give me that bait. I'll take it. Sure, you can even go bottom row. Oh, how rude. Using my energy to pick that up? To get that? Have we caught any legendaries yet? Absolutely not. My skill is not that good. I barely caught that one puffer fish. Oof. Another treasure chest, though. My fave. Rip. I know, I know. Like, Stardew fishing is actually not that hard, but here I am struggling, like, endlessly with it. Okay, this is my last fish. Hopefully it's actually a fish and not Swede or another newspaper or something. Be okay with a Joja Cola to get- Ah, rude. We got thick Swede. Look at this puffy cloud. It's schmoovin'. Ooh, and I can talk to Penny and the kids. Mm. Hello! Do, 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 do. I want to look for bugs! I would... That is, like, my least favorite pastime ever. I've ever heard of. Okay, we also have to talk to Giorgio. Do, 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 do. Hello! Speak up! Bro. How rude. I've been working on the town flower beds for months. Don't step on them. Of course not. I, okay. I have adopted gardening as one of my hobbies in the summer. Flowers, having like a nice flower garden. I don't know, for me, it's like you sit outside, you're sitting there, you're reading a book, you're listening to podcasts, maybe you're getting a little bit of sun. It feels so nice to do that. I should talk to Shane. It feels so nice to do that, surrounded by, like, flowers that you've grown from, like, seeds or seedlings. Ooh, my boy. Hello! Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Do the bat- Batman? The bat? Vampire? Hey. I, cruel prank on somebody. I didn't see who. Thank you! You're welcome! do 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 Mentally unstable stream. Honestly, okay. Every stream is a little... Okay, maybe not every stream. Every one of my streams a little mentally unstable. I'm here for it. I appreciate it. Appreciate reading the stream title because, like, sometimes I forget. Though, this one I thought was real good. Although, okay, hear me out. I was going to use zebra emojis because I was like, that's kind of like, who the F uses zebra emojis? And then I was like, that's a little too chaotic. Let's dial it back. We'll use the cowboy emoji. Do you guys like- okay. Roll it back. Collect my thoughts. Get at least coherently stable. Do you guys use the cowboy emoji in like your general life? I don't know why, but it's kind of like my new clown emoji. It is like a go-to for, bro, I'm just clowning around. What an embarrassment to society. That's me. I'm the cowboy. Which I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that the cowboy, cowboy hat emoji is my clowning 
emoji. But here we are. Does anything in life make sense? We only got one shot on this blue marble. Shoot, shoot your shot by using the cowboy emoji to denote how mentally unstable you are. I'm here for it. Whew. HRU. Okay, I'm I'm dumb. I am dumb. What does this mean? What does HRU mean? I'm old. Like I'm not that old. I'm kind of old though. Every time I call myself old, my 22-year-old coworkers like you're not that old and I'm like Yeah. Yeah, queen. And then she says something like simp and I'm like, "Can you can you explain can you explain what you said to me?" And I'm like, ah, pretty old. I'm pretty old. It's fine. I'm like, I thought I'd be somebody that would be stressed out about aging. I thought I'd be somebody that's like, I don't want to get old. I want to like dye my hair and never have gray hair. Finally, a red mushroom. Bless up. Bless up, queen. Bless up. My inventory is full. It's annoying. But I thought I'd be somebody that would not, number one, I don't think I am aging elegantly but I don't think that's the issue. I thought I'd be somebody that would struggle with getting older. I thought I'd be like, oh, like I don't wanna get old. I wanna like look pretty and young forever. But as I have been aging, I've been like, no, nah, I'm kind of here for it. I'm kind of here for it. I look more distinguished. Yeah, my face structure is not as good. I have more scars, more freckles and blemishes, but like, so do we all as we age. And I'm kind of like, it's fine. I don't know. That's like a random to tangent though. There's nothing wrong with, like, not being, like, model perfect. Do I need to donate an oyster? Or have I already done the oyster? I have already done an oyster. I have not done a mussel. But I think it's also something that comes with age. At least for me it did. Where I've gotten, like, a lot more comfortable in my natural skin. Like, who? I never put my watering can away. Bro, am I okay? But I've become a lot more comfortable in who I am, the way I look, just being authentically myself. I don't know why. Maybe just like my brain has now fully developed because I'm old. If you didn't know this, bro, I have a master's in neuroscience. Um, I mean, you might not have known that either. But your brain's not done developing until you're like 25 to 27 years old. So cut yourself some slack when you do something embarrassing in your like 20s because like, your brain is still is still figuring it out. It doesn't even know what it is. I did not get a gold star vegetable today. We're gonna hope we get one tomorrow for the luau. Meow meow. Good night. Whew. We're feeling good though. We've been making some bank, dude. We've been making some bank. In fact, I think it's been about an hour. It has been exactly an hour. So I'm gonna flip my recording quickly. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Also, I just saw, okay, we'll come back, we'll come back. We'll come back.